Hey, good afternoon. This is Neil with Simpler Futures. Today is Monday, February the 27th, and uh, this is the uh, free market update. Going to uh, be end of day here in a few minutes. It's almost 3 o'clock Central. Um, and so let me, here's my thought process to get us started for this week. All right. About nine days ago, nine or ten days, uh, the high of this move was in up around 4,200. And over that period of time, the thing sat down, the S&P sat down about 250 points down to 3950. Okay, we know that's what we already know so far. We know this too, that if you start a FIB from the October low of last year, like 3500, up to this high, right, that just happened 9, 10 days ago at 4200, then that 3950 is also a uh, 38.2 fib retrace of the October low by this recent swing high. 3950 is a 382 retrace. It's also, like I just said, 250 points over a pretty short period of time. Think about it, nine, ten days, nine days, I guess, or something like that. All right. So where we are right now also is today is next to the last day of the month tomorrow last day of the month often we get a little bearish uh, uh we call it a walk away trade in the middle of the day on the last trading day of the month so it could be a little soft tomorrow 38 no 39 30 yeah i'm sorry 39 39 65 would be my anticipated support of the retrace. And the reason is because that was balance on Friday. That's the that's what this purple line is down here from Friday. 39.65 is the uh, point of control from Friday. Okay, so that would be that'd be the spot that I would look for to be the support. On tomorrow, being oftentimes a little bearish, being the last day of the month. But then uh we have right behind that, of course, the first of the month, March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm actually looking for this thing to be first of the month bullish. I don't know if I'm right, but I'm, I'm going to look for this thing to be first of the month, new money, new monthly money coming in, you know, mark things up the first few days of the month to mark it up in, you know, those first few days right there. So that's that. I'm going to look for this thing to uptick a little this week. I could be wrong, but I'm looking for it to uptick this week. Just this week, but this week. Now, those targets are going to be, uh, one of them uh, already happened, so I'm going to move up from there. But 4005 was last week's point of control for the whole week. That would have been one, but that happened already. So then, right, that's the red line I'm pointing to. Just above that was last Thursday's Point of control balance at 4020. Well, that traded today also, so we'll forget about that one. That's already happened also as well. So, and those would have been, but those were already taken care of. So now the next up would be this guy right here, 40, call it 39, 38, something right there. That is now what we're going to do is we're going to start from the high of the move of this recent, you know, nine days worth of selling all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to start looking at these uptick FIB retracement levels, which happens to be the same as last week's value area high at, call that 38, which is also a 382 FIB level. So that's the next one. I would have given you 05 and 20, but those, those already came in today. So, okay, we'll move on. So next up would be this guy right here at 38. And then lastly... And it, I guess it could be more, but this is it. This is my last and highest and, you know, tallest target for this week would be uh, right here at 4067. Uh, that is a naked balance from last Friday. Not last Friday, a week ago for last Friday. So in other words, uh, the 17th of February, Friday the 17th before the holiday weekend. And it's a half back FIB level from the top of the move, this recent move to the bottom is a FIB level as well as is a naked uh, balance at about 67. 
So that means that um, starting tomorrow, we let it be maybe a little soft. And if it is, 39.65 support. These are ES levels, by the way, not SPX. You got to do a small adjustment for SPX. All this is ES futures levels. All right, so we come in, do a little bit of support right there, start marking it up. Target 37, 40, 37 on the top, and then 40, 67. Those are the targets, bullish targets this week. After that, it's my intention to flip back around, be bearish again, looking for the bearish targets that we've been talking about, that we all know about, that you know that we already have trades on, you know, for, right? And that'll be after, of course, we get through a little bit of potential for some retracement this week because it's first of the month. And, uh, and then uh, we'll have some interesting stuff to talk about next week because it's going to be rollover and, you know, the end of the week prior to options expiration and a bunch of stuff like that. And, by the way, you do not get payroll this Friday, payroll report. Um, this is the first Friday of the month, but there's no non-farm payroll report this Friday. It's been pushed back to the 10th uh, of March for the non-farm payroll report. Okay, that's it. I mean, that's a, that's my attempt at making a, you know, that's a pretty direct, concise, straightforward plan. There's not much uh, ambiguity about that, right? So... Um, that's it. Good trading. Let's talk with you again soon. Take care. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me 